Hey, what's going on everybody? Commander Crane here, and we are back with another standard deck tech. And today we're going to be talking about budget mono black Phyrexians. I'm very excited to share this with you. As always, let me know in the comment section below at the end of the video, is there a card that I didn't include that I definitely should have? And if you would upgrade this deck, what would you personally play to make the deck a little bit stronger, you know, assuming you're not on a budget? Just let me know in the comment section below. So, okay, a little bit of backstory. So I've been doing a ton of budget standard decks on the channel recently, just because because a lot of local game stores are starting to play a lot of standard people are looking to get into the format and some people don't want to spend a crazy amount of money to you know play standard they don't want to spend you know a hundred dollars a piece on shieldreds that kind of thing and if you like black aggro decks i think this would be the perfect deck for you it's really really spicy it plays a ton of cards that really don't see play really anywhere for the most part just because you know not that they're bad cards but you know there's not really the perfect deck for them and a lot of these cards this is the perfect deck for them so let's go and hop into here so these are our one drops that we're playing we're playing four billy skull dweller four evolved sleeper and four hopeless nightmare the skull dweller is really really good having the death touch on a one one for one is sneaky good all of our opponent's creatures you know we trade with all of them sometimes if we need to get in some damage our opponents really don't want to block it because it's so annoying it's just a little death toucher but the card is definitely very very strong the toxic is not going to come up very often but you know it is something that could potentially happen Evolve Sleeper is really, really sweet. It doesn't initially start as a Phyrexian, but obviously as we activate it, it's kind of like a figure of destiny. It eventually does become a Phyrexian. And then when we have a bunch of extra mana, we can just start dumping it in there, making it bigger and drawing cards, which is really, really sweet. Hopeless Nightmare, I just really, really like this card. One black, each opponent discards a card and loses two life. And then if it goes into the graveyard, uh, we scry two. And we can also tap two into black to sacrifice it ourselves. So the card is just really, really strong. I love Hopeless Nightmare. So next slide here. Some of our strong two drops. We're playing four Deep Cavern Bat. And yes, it is not a Phyrexian. But it's just that good. Deep Cavern Bat is everywhere in standard. The card is absolutely incredible. If you're playing a black deck, most of the time you're probably probably going to want to play some number of Deep Cavern Bat. The card is extremely strong. Then we're also playing four Grafted Butcher. Two, two for two. When it enters the battlefield, Phyrexians you control gain menace until end of turn. Other Phyrexians you control get plus one, plus one. And for three in a black, we can sacrifice an artifact or creature to return it from your graveyard to the battlefield, which is really, really strong. That is a very, very good Lord. Um, you know, most Lords, and especially in like the stronger creature types, you know, they just get like a two, two for two that gives your other dudes one, one. And normally, most of the time, it's pretty good just because the uh, creature type itself is really good. But I, this is an extremely strong effect. I mean, giving them a menace. So, you know, early game, it gives our other Phyrexians one, one. We just start getting in there. Um, and then obviously, late game it can basically be like an anthem and if our opponent keeps killing it we just bring it back which is really sweet so i'm definitely a huge fan of grafted butcher we're also playing two vran executioner thing two two for two whenever one or more other creatures you control die each opponent loses two life and you gain two life this ability triggers only once each turn um obviously you know it's just a strong two drop whenever our creatures die we drain our opponent sometimes it can create a scenario where you know we kind of can have lethal because if we're swinging with all of our dudes and then they block one and then you know they take the drain damage it's it's very interesting so definitely a big fan of ran overall very underrated card I would say so next slide here we have some of our strong three and four drops we're actually only playing one three drop and that's bloated processor and i really like this card three two for three sacrifice another phyrexian put a plus one plus one counter on bloated processor which works really well with brand and then when it dies incubate x where x is its power uh so i mean pretty much if our creatures are going to die to like a cut down or any small removal spell we can just go ahead and sack them and put a 1-1 counter on the bloated processor. And, oh, let's say our opponent depopulates or, or whatever, kills it. Then we at least get an incubate token, which is pretty sweet, which the incubate token is also a Phyrexian. So it gets all the benefits from all of our other cards that care about Phyrexians, which is pretty sweet. And then our four drops. We're playing four Defiler of Flesh. Probably, you know, one of the Defilers that really no one knows anything about because it doesn't see a lot of play. But in this deck, it's very, very strong. 4-4 four, four for four with Menace. Then it has the um, Defiler text where, you know, any black permanent that we play, that we pay, we can pay two life as opposed to one of the black pips, which is pretty sweet. And then whenever you cast a black permanent spell, 
Target creature you control gets plus one, plus one, and gains menace until end of turn. Uh, can obviously work really well with the bloated processor. If we make it really, really big, and then our opponent only has like one creature or something, we can just, just smack them with it, which is pretty sweet. But Defiler Flesh is really, really sweet. There's definitely better four drop Phyrexians, which we'll kind of talk about that later. But in terms of a budget build, this is definitely the best one that we can play in the deck. And then our last creature that we're playing is Terror of Tawashi. We're only playing two of them. It's a 4-3 for 4 with Death Touch. Uh, whatever it attacks, you may pay 3 to black. When you do return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield, it's a Phyrexian in addition to its other types. So, obviously, all of our creatures are already Phyrexians. But this is just a card where it's just, like, it's medium good. Like, it's just a really strong medium card that can definitely do some things if you just leave it alone. And that's essentially, that's, I mean, when I think of medium black card, it's definitely Terror of Tawashi um obviously late game we have four mana we can bring back our bloated processor that they killed or there are defiler or whatever or our bat they killed our deep our deep cavern bat we bring it back and we get them again terror Tawashi is really really solid and it has death touch so we can also trade with anything which is pretty sweet so those are all of our creatures that we're playing in our last side here is just some of the removal that we're playing we're playing four go for the throw and two shieldred's edict really fantastic removal in the format overall black has a ton of different black removal spells that you could play and i would say that these are the best ones um i thought about playing cut uh cut down in the deck but the main reason i did is it really didn't fit our budget all that well um but you could definitely fit it in the sideboard for sure though so that's our entire main board let's go and hop into the sideboard as well as some budget options except for our lands i totally forgot about our lands i always forget about them but anyways so our lands is really really simple we're playing four field of ruin and four the dross pits as our non-basic lands field of ruin is really good for taking out all of our opponents man lands the dross pits really good just because late game we can cash in a draw card pretty sweet overall i definitely i definitely like the sphere lands i think they're really really good budget lands then we're also playing 14 basic swamps and as our spicy basic land of the day i decided to play the very cool phyrexian ones from jumpstart if you look way in the background there is a phyrexian i believe that's obliterator i don't think it's phyrexian negator i think it's phyrexian obliterator but you can see it all the way in the background there which is really really sweet so i think this is kind of one of the first cards they did with the phyrexian uh text too because this was like before Frex all be one and stuff like that so definitely a very very cool swap for sure so that's our entire main board now let's finally go and hop into the sideboard here so really really simple so we're gonna want a little bit of life gain there's a lot of removal spells in the format that you gain a little bit of life uh with which is really good against especially like mono red and a lot of the other really fast aggro decks like humans well, and speaking of that, we're also going to want some extra removal cards like the end is really, really fantastic. Um, just bringing in extra removal for the smaller creatures is really, really huge. You could also play a card like cut down. Cut down is definitely very, very good. And then discard spells. Main one being like duress. You're definitely going to want duress in your sideboard, especially in mono black. You could also play, you know, there's a couple of different like mind rot effects where it's three mana make your opponent discard too. Um, unfortunately, uh, go blank is not in standard, which I would definitely play it then in this deck. But, you know, really any of those effects would definitely be very very strong and the last thing we have to talk about is the upgrade options which is really simple the utility lands mostly meaning like takanuma and cavern of souls if you happen to have them you don't need to play you don't need caverns to be able to play this deck but if you have them they're definitely very very strong uh and again kind of like what we talked about with the four drops the phyrexians shieldred and phyrexian obliterator are really really good and they're both phyrexians if you have them go ahead and put them in the deck but don't feel like you need those to definitely play this deck. Are they very strong? Yes, they are like really, really good black four drops. There's actually a lot of good black four drop Phyrexians, and I just decided to play the Defiler in that slot. But again, if you have them, go ahead and throw them in the deck. They will make it better for sure, but they are not 100% necessary. And the last thing I wanted to mention is this deck's only $31 if you want to play the entire deck. That's extremely cheap for a standard deck. I'm not saying you can take this to the Pro Tour or anything like that, but if you're looking to have some fun at your local game store, get into some standard, maybe even buy an extra deck for a friend so they can come play and you don't want to spend a lot, this is a fantastic deck to be able to do that. So let me know in the comments section below if you do end up building this list. I'll probably end up building myself because, again, it's only $31. I can build it and just have an extra deck for someone who wants to play some standard with me. So, all right, well, that takes us to the end of the video. Let me know in the comments section below. What do you think about the list? Is there a card that I should have included that I didn't? Just let me know in the comment section. So I'm Commander Crane. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.